Right, hello and welcome to part 6 of my Xenogears playthrough. Previously we stopped by the doctor's place to get some equipment and some dinner, but also discovered that there's definitely some trouble brewing, not only for Faye but possibly the entire village. I left the last episode as a bit of a cliffhanger, so let's not keep you guys waiting. Well, let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot in this one, um, it's quite story driven. Um, I'll talk where it's appropriate and where it's not going to get in the way. I um, hope everyone's having a lovely day so far, and I hope you've been looking forward to this. Find out what's going on. Doesn't look good. Friends on fire. Trust it to be done. Yes, you should. Sounds like a plan. Go and save them villagers. I love the size of the gears in comparison to the buildings and the people. I think it just goes to show how big and powerful they're supposed to be. Just drop out of that one. Creepy. Uh oh. Listen to the doctor. Always listen to your doctor. 
unless they're horribly wrong, in which case don't. Most of the time should be right. Don't listen to your doctor. Okay, so fighting in gears is very much similar to fighting on foot. Um, however, instead of the um, action points in the bottom left hand corner, you now have fuel. Um, you can top up your fuel a little bit during an actual fight, but it's only by small increments and it does it over time. Um, outside of doing that, the only way that I know of at the minute to top up your fuel is to go and get it topped up at like a, a shop of some sort. Oops, a vendor. But it's very much the same thing, you get different combinations and it's basically just scaled up into gear combat. So I shouldn't really have to explain, it's pretty much the exact same as uh, foot combat but in big fancy awesome looking gears. I think there is a slight difference in, if you notice that there's an attack level at the side. Uh, again it's a little bit like if you, you do an attack and then if your attack level goes up to like 1, 2 or 3 it enables you to do stronger um, death blows. So sometimes it's worth trying to build up your attack level by not going all out. But you do have to be very careful with your fuel reserves. Um, so that's another element when you're fighting with gears that you have to keep in mind is that obviously if you run out of fuel you're kind of stuffed. I've not had that happen yet, so I don't know how easy it is to do that, to be honest. Did you notice that leader type dude float down, looking cool as hell? Awakens here. Awakens. That's kind of nice. Is. Who would have thought? I think part of my dislike for Dan actually comes from other stuff that happens later, but I, I can't recall a hundred percent. That's not deep. Blimey.
language. Oh, look at that. Go ahead. Well, wow, <laughs> I know I've seen that before, but that bit, it's just so strong, like so much happens, things are hinted at, that is mental, it's literally just wiped the entire village, it's just disintegrated the village, which is why you can only do the RPS badge right at the beginning. I think Faye kind of passed out and didn't realise what had happened. to be different villagers saying different things. Everyone's scared of him. Oh, hold on a minute, I'll just, just give her back just now, mate. Just hiding behind this rock all the time. I think what I failed to remember the first time I played this is that actually Dan is an orphan anyway. Um, his, his actual parents died and he was starting with his auntie and uncle and his sister. So uh, now he's lost his sister too and he's probably his auntie and uncle, I'm not sure. That's me getting ousted. Faye is getting the boot. We do know what you mean. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. It's probably about time to wrap this up after these following little conversations. So, as usual, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for another episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, take a second to leave me a like and a comment below. 
let me know what you think of this this episode in particular and, and the things that are occurring any speculations you might have um, hopefully you'll join me for the next episode to find out what happens in uh, in Black Moon Forest um, a few more things are unveiled in that so that'll be interesting um, if you're new to this uh, I'd definitely recommend going and checking out my older episodes to find out what's happened up till now um, but thanks again for watching taking the time out of your day to spend watching my video if you enjoyed it hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I next upload one of these episodes and with that I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you soon live long and prosper bye